Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and I had to stop everything yesterday after I found out from one of my new subscribers that there is a random act of crochet kindness with worry worms out there right now. And a lot of people have been using my bookworm as a template, which I thought was awesome. So I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make a hundred of these too. And I go to my stash and find out that I only have really, really big googly eyes. And they don't fit on these. I need the tiny ones. So I had to alter my pattern really quick. So this is what I came up with from this to this. And they only take about 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you how it goes. You need a four millimeter hook. You can use any hook you want. Any hook you have will be just fine. A couple of googly eyes and some glue. You have some tacky glue. That looks great. It dries really fast. That is awesome. But apparently people are taking they're taking these little guys and leaving them randomly around town. Some people are even leaving little notes that say, if I make you smile, take me home. Um, I'm not lost. I was waiting for you. I just found out about all of this yesterday, so I dropped everything that I was doing. And I'm going to make a bunch. And I'm going to show you my new pattern. It is super easy, super fast. This one's my favorite too, by the way. He's so cute. Or if you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a two or three minute tutorial on it. It's super, super easy. I promise. Ten single crochets in our magic circle. I love my stitch markers. So here we go. One, two. Pull him tight. And there's Siri. So she's a crazy cat. All right, there's my ten. Pulled it a little bit tight. And in this marked stitch, we're just going to do a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain 25, 2, 3, 4, 23, 24, and 25. Now in every chain all the way back down to our magic circle, every chain we're going to put five single crochets. You can work in the back bumps if you want to, but this way is way faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the first chain. Move on to the next chain five single crochets all the way down. I'll meet you back at my magic circle in just a moment. And here is my last chain. So he gets five single crochets also. Three, four, five. Now we have a curly cue and in our marked stitch is where we're going to start. Right here. Going to go all the way around our circle with an increase. So right here, I'm going to put two single crochets. I'm going to mark the first one. So I just so I know. So we get two in every stitch around for a little bit of an increase to make his head a little bit bigger to accommodate my giant googly eyes. And there's my last stitch going around his head. One and two. I just want to go through that same stitch anywhere you want to in here and just do a slip stitch to finish this guy off and a finish off like that. Fix our twist just by twisting until everything is kind of going the right direction. Twist, twist, twist! And now this tail that's in the front, we're going to pull him to the back. So just go through from the back with your hook there. Pull that tail that we just cut to the back. Close your magic circle by pulling the original tail really tight. So now it's closed. Turn them over. You can tie these in a knot or weave them back down through. I'm just going to tie this guy in a little knot because the colors will match and kind of blend in. Just cut down low right here. Bam! Ten minutes. And now if you wanted to put googly eyes on him, and we've got two googly eyes. See how big those are? They're way too big for this guy's head. That's all I had left. Don't know where my little ones went. I guess I made way too many things with them. But I'm just going to use glue. My tacky glue is missing too. So I have a feeling that my tacky glue and my tiny googly eyes are all in the same place with somebody else in my house. I'm not quite, quite sure. Here we go, eyeball. 
eyeball. Now this clear glue takes a little bit longer to dry than tacky glue, but it worked just fine for all the other ones. And these guy googly eyes, I love him so much. He's so adorable. See how fast that was? Even the newest crocheter could make dozens of these today and leave them randomly around your town to make people smile. Everybody needs to have a good smile. Everybody needs to smile every day. And these guys will help make somebody smile. How cute would that be? I would just love it if somebody found one of these and if they let me know they found one. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks. Share this video with everybody that you know. Make dozens of these and leave them all around town and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.